Hello, welcome to you all in my channel Mechanical Engineering Concept. In this lecture, I am going to solve question number 11.3, which is unsolved, taken from Design of Bell Drive book. I am considering here from which this problem is taken it is Machine Design book written by Vivi Bandari. The question states that the layout of cross leather belt drive is shown in this figure 13.31. The belt 6 mm thick transmit 7.5 kilowatt at and operates at a velocity of 13 meter per second approximately velocity given to us 13 meter per second power is given to us 7.5 kilowatt and after that coefficient of friction which can be written in form of small f is 0.3 given to us the permissible shear stress permissible tensile stress for the belt material is sigma 1.75 newton per m square and the density of leather belt is 0.95 gram per cc then we need to calculate the diameter of the pulley length of and weld, uh, weld, width of the belt and belt tension on the tight and the loose side so first with respect to this given data I need to calculate I need to calculate dia of the pulley so to calculate dia of the pulley as you know the relation between velocity and the dia of the pulley is V is equal to pi d n by 60. Here uh, in this diagram we know the value of input speed which is 1000 rpm and the output, output speed which is 500 rpm given to us in this problem. Okay, And the center distance between these two pulleys are given to us is 1500 which can be written as c is equal to 1500 small n can be written as 1000 and capital n can be written as 500 rpm capital n here i am considering for a larger pulley and for small n for smaller pulley okay here the diameter is unknown to us but velocity is given to us velocity is 30 meter per second speed is given to us in rpm 1000 so small d can be calculated from this equation 60 into velocity to shift this 60 here and by into n shift into denominator then velocity into 60 divided by pi into speed is 1000 this will be cancelled and diameter will be 60 into 13 divided by pi into 1000 0.2482 meter will be the value of diameter so standard value in mm will be 248.2 mm will be the diameter value for this and we can approximately take it as a take we can take the, this value as a 250 mm we can take the smaller d is equal to 250 for calculation simplification <coughs> so small d is calculated from this and another value capital d i need to calculate so to do that i need to use the uh, speed ratio formula which can be written as i is equal to capital D by smaller d is equal to smaller n by capital N. Cap small n given to us 1000. Okay. A smaller uh, or larger pulley speed given to us 500. Capital D I need to calculate. Smaller d we already calculated 250. Then the capital D will be come out from here is 500 mm. First or not, 
will got calculated next i need to calculate length of the belt and width of the belt so as we know for cross belt arrangement length of the belt formula is l is equal to for cross belt 2c plus pi capital d plus small d in bracket divided by 2 plus capital d minus small d square divided by 4c we know the value sorry plus c is given to us 1500 capital d we calculated 500 small d calculated 250 so after putting all those value the length will be come out as 4271.84 mm 4271 mm will be the length of the belt ok after that we need to calculate width of the belt which is this much value sorry yes this much suppose this is the length then we need to calculate the width of the belt which is used to transmit the power from one pulley to another pulley so to do that and to calculate um, tight and loose side we need to use those two formulas p1 minus mv square divided by p2 minus mv square is equal to e to the power f into alpha alpha is a wrap angle in radian f is the coefficient of friction v is the velocity belt velocity which is given to us mass is the weight of the belt per meter length kg per meter length p1 and p2 are the tights and low side of the belt and another formula which can be written as power in kilowatt is equal to p1 minus p2 into velocity of the belt a belt velocity divided by 1000 so mass is not known to us velocity is known to us and as we know the density is equal to mass upon volume so the mass can be written as density into volume and volume can be simplified as a area into length length can be taken as 1 meter for standard condition and area will be thickness into width thickness is given to us 6 mm and width I need to calculate <coughs> so the mass will be equal to density is given to us 0.95 area will be thickness 6 mm width is not known to us and length is 1 meter so if I am considering length in meter and density in gram per cc so we need to convert this and take thickness into meet meter so to the so for that uh, 10 to the power minus 3 should be multiplied after multiplying mass into velocity means 0 0.95 into 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into b into in place of velocity i need to put 13 which is given to us after solving all this point 9633b will be come out and put this m in place of mv square i can put this one this term okay so 0.9633b i need to calculate this one this one and this one term three unknowns are there so to calculate three unknowns we need three equation here we have only two equation to calculate three unknowns one more relation i can use is as we know is stress is equal to load upon area or the uh, basic uh, force upon area so force can be written as or tension can be written as stress into area okay as we know stress is given to us 1.75 in place of area thickness into width can be written and 1.75 into 6 into b so p will be come out as 10.5 b so in place of p i can put 10.5 b 
and in place of mb square I can put this one so the whole term this p2 and b will be remaining and p2 can be replaced from this one term from this formula kilowatt formula kilowatt power is given to us 7.5 kilowatt p1 is unknown p2 is unknown velocity is given to us 13 divide by 1000 then p1 minus p2 will be come out as 576.9 equation 1 and from here p2 can be written as p1 minus 576.9 and p1 is known to us 0.9633 d minus 576.9 so in place of p1 I can put 0.9633b and in place of p2 I can put this one equation equation number this is second number ok so put in place of p1 0.9633 into b minus in place of sorry in place of p1 I need to put sigma into a value which is come out as this is equation number 3 10.5 b in place of in this equation p1 minus mv square divided by p2 minus mv square is equal to the for f into alpha here p1 is 10.5 from equation number 3 10.5 into b mv square is 0.9633 b divided by in place of p2 i can put this one equation number 2 0.9633 double three B minus five seventy six point nine is equal to E F is given to us in this problem is point three and alpha for cross belt arrangement can be written calculated from one eighty plus two sin inverse capital D plus a small d divided by PC. After putting all those values, we have C is 5, 1500, capital D 500, small d is 250, the alpha will be come out as 208.9 degree. If we calculate in the, into this into radian, I need to multiply this term with pi by 180. So in radian the value will become out as 3.6469 radian. So put here 3.6469 and solve all this term then width of the belt will be come out approximately equal to 91.04 mm. So if we are able to calculate this from this equation then we can easily calculate the p1 value which is 10.5 into b and in place of b I can put 91.0 so the p1 will be come out as 955 Newton approximately and if p1 is known to us then from equation number 2 this, this can be calculated from equation number 3 and from equation number 2 p2 will be 0.9633 into b minus 576.9 from this after putting this b the p2 will be come out as 378.08 meter you can put in place of this directly p1 so this term is <coughs> sorry one mistake I think I have done I need to correct it in place of this I need to put 10.5b ok my mistake uh, here this term is taken from mv square sorry sorry my mistake 
in place of this I need to put 10.5 into B minus this one okay because P1 is equal to 10.5 into B here also I need to correct this and one more term I, I forgot 10.56.5 to b minus and in place of mb square 0.9633 b this one equal to this much okay so solve this you can calculate p1 and p2 which is the last term we need to calculate and this is the way you can solve this problem you need to remember this basic formula to calculate this problem this one this one this concept basic concept length concept and uh, these formulas are already given to us in machine design book written by Vivian Dari you can uh, refer that uh, equations also equation also from that book okay uh, which I already told you how to use that from which page and from which equation that uh, equation number that equation come from okay if you have any doubt related to this problem then please comment below this video and Thank you. Have a good day.